And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some insightful peddler, our first donation deck of the day. We're gonna have three fun new donation decks. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so our first one's gonna be insightful peddler. This deck is built around insightful investigator. When we play a two cost card, we get to draw one and give it fleeting. And then, you know, having all these two cost spells and then hopefully being able to chain them together. Now, if we're chaining spells together, we want Puff Cap Peddler in play because then each spell will be planting three Puff Caps in the enemy deck. And that helps our, our Teemo level up and everything like that. So like, that's why we're called Insightful Peddler. Um, that's what our, our combo is. Plus, we can do some, some pretty decent damage, you know, just random Ionia PNZ cards. We have some good threats with Chempunk Pickpocket and Zed. We got some elusiveness with Shadow Assassin. Um, you know, we just got some some other stuff there also, you know, the elusiveness with Teemo. So it looks like a pretty fun deck to play. Lots of spells, lots of randomness, and some uh, just good overall cards. Like our, our curves, pretty low. Over half the deck costs either one or two, and the other parts just either costing three or four, so nothing more expensive than that. Uh, so that should allow us to be able to uh, cast a bunch of spells in the late game. All right, we're going to play some Insightful Peddler. Sorry, ARAM. Um, here we go. Ranked. All right, we're going to go play five games. And we'll see how we do. Okay, Enigma Soul, you played against a deck just like this earlier this morning and took it down with a Nivea Rekindler. A Nivea Rekindler can get... Pretty mean. Um, we're playing Vilux. Let's get rid of Eye of the Dragon and Old Chumpers. <laughs> Hopefully Shadow Assassin's good. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it. All right, we'll wait on trail. We're just going to hold trail of evidence because we got the insightful investigator. We're going to want to wait on that. Well, turn three, five, five. Going to be kind of tough. Yeah, that's going to be kind of tough. Hmm. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. My cause is wrong. You have no alibi. Mage Seeker Persuader is awesome. Okay, so we're, we got it started. Got him six puff caps. Hmm. The order rewards its faithful. Okay. I think we'll just play the pickpocket. I will play my part. the dragon. Hmm. 
we have so many decisions here. You know, I could if I play Will of Ionia, that's that's the rest of our turn. Yeah, Grizzled Ranger's a tough one. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh. Strike for wow. I have a rude opponent. I see all. You can't outrun justice. I know. Yeah, that's... That was a nightmare. What's that you got there? I think I'm gonna save. Um, I think I'm gonna save the uh, trail of evidence. So basically they could they could block this and then they would gain life or they would just go back up to 20. You only gain that much life. What you looking for? So we'll cast like Will of Ionia on. Radiant Guardian, but then I'll just replay Radiant Guardian. You have no alibi. Kind of a mess. Hmm. Your lesson begins. The dragon binds us. Your lesson begins. It's kind of a mess. When you're trying to play a long game with Puff Caps, Radiant Guardian is kind of the worst card to see, right? Like it's, you just can't outrace Radiant Guardian. That's not very realistic. And that would mean... Keep on getting these free cards, kind of free, like they're extra cards, but no, I want that mystic shot. Sixteen cards left. Sure, 
Sure. Why not? Four puff caps right now. Two, three. Success is planting your mushroom. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plant him, kid. Okay. Can't touch this. Uh, um, attacking with Zed just lets them just lets them gain five life again. I don't know if it's if that's really the best. So I went to Will of Ionia right now? Probably not. Too many Zids. <laughs> Five puff caps. <laughs> We're getting there, they got 75. We are getting there. Puff cap wise. I mean, if I bounce Radiant Guardian. I do level up Vi, but this will be my, my best chance of killing them. Obviously needing, you know, obviously trying to use Insightful Investigator uh, as card draw with this stuff. Looking for more spells to be able to use Peddler. Hey, Baron December. Welcome. Yeah, just, just switch games. Uh, let's see, I really like Terror. I kind of wrote this piece back in February. What I really like about Runeterra. Oh. All right. Well, they win. Because then the five damage from Vi is lethal. And that that Radiant Guardian got us so much. That Radiant Radiant Guardian. Yeah, and, and I recommend I recommend giving this uh, game a try. There, December. Um, this game is awesome. There's, uh, it's on mobile now, and there's, um, you know, it's just all the games are really close and, and skill intensive and interesting. It's an amazing card game. That's just going up. Let's see, health potion, Will of Ionia, Eye of the Dragon, Zed. So we're definitely getting rid of health potion and. I don't think I really need Eye of the Dragon either. Will of Ionia is kind of slow, but you know, it could be great against like Vi. Ugh, I don't really want two of them. Yuck. I would like a Key Guardian to protect Zed. That's that's like my card that I really want was Key Guardian. It would still allow me to play Key Guardian on turn three. Key Guardian is my best card. Let none disturb my meditation. We go as one.
I don't... Yeah. I think I was supposed to heat... Uh, if I bounce Vi the previous turn. And they would have just killed my Teemo with that thing. I mean, so they would have gained 10, but... If I must. Yeah, you think that I should just try to go for 20 puff caps? It's a close call. I was going to be digging farther with, you know, like, we already had 8 damage on. I was going to be digging farther. I, I thought I could find another Teemo. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't too worried about finding another Teemo with how we were going to be digging. And, like, how I'd only seen one so far. And we were at, like, 16 cards. And I was going to be drawing, I was going to be drawing, like, another 4 cards. I, yes, yeah, so I wasn't, I, I thought, I was pretty confident uh, in finding Teemo. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Key Guardian, that's what I needed before. So if they want to block and protect their solitary monk, then they gotta do it before like a hybridinger would come into play by me playing this and attacking. Yeah, this is a really, really good balanced game in December with uh, the best rewards as far as like earning the cards from the start. Uh, you know, like you just you know start a new account, earning cards. Everything. I, I definitely recommend giving it a try. All right, how do we beat Heimerdinger? How does anybody beat Heimer Heimerdinger? Yeah, I do. I love Key Guardian with Zed. I think that's that's pretty awesome. I wish we would have had that previously. Like, I, I hate doing this. Like, this doesn't really accomplish much. I don't feel like. Hey, kid brave, it's going really well. Well, at least in... At least at the end of the month. This will be nerfed and somehow... At the end of the month, I'll be nerfed. That's the one. Yeah, sure, I could get, I could Will of Ionia their Hybridinger again, but and keep them from getting that three one. It's the one card that's not balanced with everything else. Is Heimerdinger. Uh, I surrendered for sanity's sake. Hello. Uh, let's see. I want to keep all these. Keep them. What do you mean? What do you mean you're not incentivized to play? They have to give labs a meaningful reward for you to play it. Like you don't, you don't, you don't want to just have fun. It's it's nice to have fun. can take out Teemo, but we got a new Teemo. Okay, yeah, with limited time, you'd 
want to play something where you have more rewards. Oh no. Well, getting really punished for using that Mystic Shot on Lucian, because now Zed is unbeatable. I know, poor Mystic Shant. Where'd you go? Where did you go? We need more Mystic Shots. <laughs> Okay, I like that. I don't like that. Yeah, there's a small chance that Trail of Evidence would give us Mystic Shots. We can try that. Or... Or I, or I barrier this, make it difficult to attack in with the Zed because we get the, a barrier blocker. I'm going to go that route. I think this is the safer play. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Round six. We just play Chump Wump and give them sixteen puff caps or random card plus Chump Wump. Guess we'll go random card. There's a chance. I was gonna say there's a chance that random card does nothing. And right now we just don't. You know, I could play an investigator, then random card draw fleeting, but I wouldn't have any mana to play it. I wouldn't have any mana to cast it. So it doesn't. Wouldn't really need to do that. Reduce that one. I got ways to find me mushrooms. I would think a four three would be bigger than a three three. I guess because it's rare. Yuck. Man, my opponent's just playing all good cards. All good efficient cards. Hmm. 
I hate this trade, but we gotta stay alive. Well, that's not good. Every, like literally every single card my opponents played, I've been like, well, that's not good. <laughs> Every single card. Subterfuge, hidden clues, it's all here. Yeah, yeah. Thirteen out of fifteen. Hmm. I could go all in on the puff caps. That probably doesn't work. What you looking for? I am the blade in the darkness. Two, three, four. I love to smell of mushrooms in the morning. <laughs> They're not really playing anything else, so it's likely they have spells. Yeah, they have spells that... Oh no, they're just letting me kill their Zed? Huh. That means they got more Zeds? Yep. Well, like, I have four for four. We can block. can't keep anything alive so everything dies um we want to keep Timo alive if I want to go retreat that's good no stop My top card was gotcha. I could have used that to kill something. I didn't think I had any three mana removal. I guess I, for I forgot about gotcha. Steal. I oh. for the fallen. No. Darkness. Come on, puff caps. Come on, puff caps. They got 62 with 26 cards. Draw eight of them. Draw eight of them. Six. You will be scoured from no. I don't even have anything. I can't Mystic Shot my own thing to keep them from gaining five. Either. That 
That's five. We're getting there. Give him some more. That's 71. Do I shoot them? No, I don't think I shoot them. The chance that, um, Feel the, sizzle. <clears throat> the chance that they that they get enough uh, puff caps, like you know, with those extra three that I get, is kind of too small. I would rather have the ability to mystic shot my own thing to keep them from gaining life. Um, yeah, that's why I didn't mystic shot them because it's just it's just three more puff caps, and I think that that if if things didn't work out, that this ability to mystic shot my own thing uh, keep them from gaining life more important. I'm gonna hold on to the eye of the dragon in case we draw insightful investigator, so we have a two mana card. We're so close. All right, now, now we do the same thing. Three. Yes! There we go. Got eight. All right, got the win. That was a hard fought battle. GG's. Got those puff caps. That's a good game right there. That's what makes like these Teemo puff like Teemo puffcat peddler decks are amazing because they're not they're not like that great you know like if you get if you win about 500 that's really good with these like so they're not like that great but they're so much fun to play because all of your wins are so satisfying and um, yeah like all of your wins are so satisfying and even some of your losses are like really close and and it's it's fun. It's good to play. You know, it's really fun to play. Let me keep this. Uh, you know, health potion against the aggro deck. Key guardian for, like, my blockers. I don't know what my blockers will be yet. We'll find out what they're going to be. I don't want that. Reporting in. Reporting in. There's a blocker. Can you hold this? But yeah, they're, they're turn three attacks. You know, Zed Draven, even Katarina. Those are all very good and scary. And so we need... Uh, we need Key Guardian on a blocker. I guess I could have done a Shadow Assassin now, but I like I like having the Kempunk pickpocket in where I can kind of immediately go back and attack with that. Oh dang, they ain't scared. That's probably bad for me. I mean, I'm still blocking, obviously. So they just. Huh. I mean, if we're playing in normal, I think maybe that victory doesn't count, but, I mean, we're playing in ranked. And... <laughs> opponent is just like... <laughs> yeah, I have, I, have, uh, I have talked bad about Key Guardian before, but in this specific deck, um, I think Key Guardian works really, really well in this deck. 
uh, yeah, you know, like that, that's just not a, that good of a recall play. And I guess they were like, well, I'm now I lose. I don't know. They didn't, you know, they would have had nothing to like. They would have had to block the Kempunk pickpocket. And yeah, I don't know. Well, we will take it. Okay, Sejuani Vladimir. We're gonna have turn one Teemo. Good. I have like retreat. Basically, you know, like these these three are probably staying in there. I'm not sure about the gotcha at four mana. Maybe we replace that, but I could see gotcha doing some work. <laughs> the victory was the mushrooms we planted along the way. Hello. Hello. Omen Hawk. Timo. All right, will they ever know? We'll hit him. See, Teemo's so nice. Give somebody mushrooms. It's like, you look like you need nourishment. Do not want you to starve to death. Um, this goes in. I sure I could use a re retreat, but we got another Zed. I am the blade in the darkness. Can't touch that. That's a good, good use of the fizzy moat. Right there, good use. Okay, two puff caps. My opponent's just, my opponent's just pretty smart because getting, you know, drawing those puff caps means there's less puff caps for me to give them whenever I double, double up the puff caps. Uh, let's play Pepper. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. So if mushrooms could talk. No. Get him. Fury of the North. That thing's so big. Alright, so I'll play Investigator plus Pickpocket. You name it, I'll nick it. We get a mystic shot. This will go upstairs. Uh peddler gone. Okay, keep drawing them. Only the finest serves. Keep drawing them. Uh, either way, we draw one. We either draw one fleeting or draw one regular. Don't be calling no enforcers. Uh, 
Dang. Not so fast there. Alright, hoping they draw. Um, hoping they draw some more puff caps. At least one. Okay, they got at least one. So that's two. Um, they could still, like, double transfusion kill me. Yeah! <laughs> Cannot hide. That was a great game right there. That was a great game. I wanted to play the other... To be honest, I wanted to play the other Shadow Assassin, but thought it could be a little greedy for, you know, playing... Play, you know, like, I didn't want to play something else, and then they go with, like, the, the four-mana Crimson card that does, like, one damage to all their stuff at, like, burst speed, or... Like even an Imperial Demolitionist, you know, like anything like that. But I wanted to play the other Shadow Assassin. Um, I, I wasn't really that worried about my life total, that's why I didn't block. Um, you know, I wanted all, like I didn't want, I didn't want my, I didn't want to kill anything. I didn't want my inv in, Insightful Investigator to die, I didn't want my Peddler to die, I didn't want my Shadow Assassin to die. I wasn't that worried about my life total, but then suddenly they had an additional 8 damage in Tricks. To go for lethal so still had the health potion so like you know in order for them to kill me they had to have like an additional eight points of damage and tricks like they had and then also an additional you know three points um of spells afterwards uh you know non-combat damage so like it i was asking a lot of them to to win there um yeah i mean I guess I guess at that point I probably could have just sacrificed like the insightful investigator, I suppose at that point of the game just to to take five less damage originally. So I suppose I could have. I just didn't think our life total was under that much duress, but I guess it was. They had a lot of damage output. Hey, what's up, Nut? Hope you're having an amazing day as well. All right, so yeah, the deck was definitely a ton of fun to play. Uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed playing the deck. This is certainly my kind of deck. I liked the, I really liked the Key Guardian. I liked the Zed. Um, I really liked Retreat as well. That like Retreat was pretty sweet, especially like I would, I would think I'd want to play three Retreats in this deck with having Puff Cat Peddler and Shadow Assassin and Zed. We have a lot of awesome cards. You know, a lot of three mana, really good cards to put back in with a return. I was really impressed with Retreat. Um, I think probably my least favorite card is Eye of the Dragon. Uh, I was I was glad we had the health potions to help us stay alive a little bit. Um, like yeah, I'd probably I'd probably just take out an Eye of the Dragon and play an additional Retreat um, myself. I liked having the Gotcha, the Will of Ionia. The two Investigators were good. I don't, I don't think that has to be a three of. I think that was just fine as a two of. Hey, Kitty Dexterity gifting out two subs. Stormy Ven and Nakano getting the gifted subs. Awesome. Thank you there, Santa Kitty Dexterity. Two subs on the day towards the bonus stream at the end. So we do. If we hit if we hit our sub goal, then after our four decks, we'll play an additional 30 minutes to an hour of more. Rune Terra. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely fun to play. Key Garden was the probably the most impressive card that I didn't expect to be as good that was as good. Um, I'm not sure if Claws of the Dragon would be better than Eye of the Dragon. Like maybe I could see I could see Claws of the Dragon being better than Eye of the Dragon. I'm not sure. 
I don't know. The Eye of the Dragon wasn't bad. It wasn't like it wasn't like necessarily bad. It's just not my favorite part of the deck. Um, but all right, cool. <laughs> yep. All right, uh, but that's it here for Insightful Peddler. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck, too. Did you really enjoy this kind of deck? Um, you know, leave those comments. What's up, Enigma Soul? With that resub, saying you can't get rid of me that easy. Thank you so much, Enigma Soul. You are a rock star. Yeah, Eager Apprentice could be a card that you could add. Eh. But yeah, don't don't love it either. Um, you know, it'd probably be Claws of the Dragon. I like I like how like the three two blocks. Um, yeah, I like I like the three two blocking. Or, you know, you could have the Veteran Investigator for whenever, like, later on, if you can, if you can get them with a whole bunch of puff caps with your Peddler, you force them to draw another card. Um, so, you know, like, this is another option as well with the Veteran Investigator. Someone subbed earlier? Uh, Agent Iowa did. You were right. Two hours ago. Got that resub in. So we are at four out of five. I didn't update that. My B. So yes, we are at four out of five. Cool. All right. Anyway, there we go. That's it for insightful invest or <laughs> insightful peddler. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.